Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Maria Toka and today I'm going to show you how to create this blurry ink bleed text effect in Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing we do is we create in a new document. You can see all the settings that I have when we click create. Then we're going to type our text. The next thing is we should convert it into a smart object by clicking the right click. The next thing we're going to do is uh, select the pen tool. We're going to select the areas that we want to blur. Once you've finished selecting, just press the command button or control if you're on Windows and press anywhere outside of these areas. So then it will allow you to select all of them at the same time when you will be making the selection. Then press the right click, make selection and further radius, we're going to put 80 pixels okay then we're gonna copy and paste these areas on the new layer for this we just press command plus J and next thing we're gonna do is we're going to filter blur and Gaussian blur set the radius as 12 and press OK and then we're duplicating this layer twice by pressing common and J. This way we, we have these four layers and now we're going to also duplicate the background layer considering that it's white also by pressing common plus J. The next thing we're going to select all these layers apart from background and merge them together uh, when we selected all of them we just press command E the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're going to filter blur and Gaussian blur again and this time we're gonna put radius as 9 press OK and then we're gonna go to filter and filter gallery and here the first filter we're going to apply is graphic pen this one we can change the numbers to 2 and 100 100 then we're going to add another filter by pressing this little plus button which means new effect layer and this time we're going to choose torn edges um, as for numbers, we're gonna have 25, we're gonna have 1 here and 19. And also, we're pressing this plus button again and we're duplicating this torn edges layer. But this time, we're changing the numbers to these ones 39, 11, and 21. You can obviously adjust it to your own taste, but this is the effect I'm going for. Press OK. So this is pretty much the end result. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for new tutorials like this one and have a good day.